Hey everyone, Trevor Louie back in the kitchen again and back cooking with amazing Canadian chicken again. Raised by Canadian chicken farmers because 90% of our chicken farms are family owned and I trust truly Canadian chicken. Just like this chicken here to make a classic Hong Kong style Macanese Portuguese curry chicken. Now, when we make this dish, traditionally, we like to use dark meat. I got a couple drumsticks left, bone in with skin. No problem, we like the fat of the skin. Then I've got about three or four pieces of bone-in skinless thighs. These pieces are fairly large, so we wanna butcher them down. So I've got my cleaver cut through the bone, just like that. And then these drumsticks, same thing, right? We wanna get into them a little bit. So we've got our chicken pieces here. I'm gonna put it into a nice mixing bowl. Okay, get all the chicken in there. We're gonna add a little bit of neutral oil. Not too much, a little bit just to cook the chicken. We're gonna grab our paprika. We're gonna grab our turmeric. Good old S&P. So a couple pinches of salt, a couple pinches of pepper. And this is the part where it's fun to get in and get a little dirty. So we're gonna go in with our hands. It's the only way to get this all nicely coated. So you mix all that beautiful spice. Get lots of that seasoning. What we wanna do now, this is all covered is we want to cover this up, we want to put it in the fridge, and we want to let it sit for a few hours. If you've got time to do this overnight, even better. But four to eight hours is acceptable as well. All right, chicken is out of the fridge. It's been marinating for a couple hours. Let me smell it. Oh, it's deep and earthy right into that beautiful Canadian chicken. So let's get ready to cook. We've got a nice stewing pot. Remember, this is a perfect fall winter dish. So we're gonna build these flavors and let it simmer off because you know, there's nothing like honoring a chicken, Canadian chicken farmer, than to do justice to a great product that we're about to put into this pot. Okay, I've got this pot, it's on medium hot. We're gonna add that neutral oil in, okay? You wanna coat that pot here, it sizzle a little bit. You're gonna get your chopped up onions. We got about one and a half chopped onions in here. Get that right in there. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna throw in that chopped garlic. This is, this is like the holy flavor bomb for Asian cooking. And the great thing about this dish is, you know, we think about of a colony like Macau, uh, which is in China, which at some point was colonized for Portuguese. It's a meld of flavors because it was a trade port uh, in the mouth of China coming from South Asia. So there's a lot of Indian influence, uh, a lot of European influence and obviously a lot of Chinese influence. So this pot of curry is essentially the melding of all those worldly flavors that we're gonna bring together with chicken. We just want this to slowly sweat. And the term sweating means to sort of get that nice translucent feel of the onions and the garlic. But just before we go there, what we wanna do next is we wanna add our potatoes. We're gonna let this cook off for a couple minutes. A little bit of salt and pepper. We like to season as we go, okay? We can always move forward. We can't go backward when it comes to seasoning. But this is the time we're gonna put in that hormone-free chicken raised by Canadian oh my, chicken oh farmers. Gosh. We're gonna put this marinated chicken right in, guys. Ooh, don't be afraid of it. Let it all slide through. And now what we wanna do is we just want to move this around. We're gonna turn the heat up a little bit because we need that chicken to start cooking. Get that sizzling going, and it's melding with all the flavors that are already in this pot, with that garlic, and the turmeric, and the paprika, and those chopped onions. Get a good quality coke milk that doesn't separate, something that's nice and rich and creamy. We're gonna just slowly pour this in, give it a little stir, turn the heat up a little bit more, because what we want to do now is we want to get this up to a simmer, okay? Just before we get to that, we have one more step before we put the lid on. I'm gonna grab that curry, that madras curry. Oh, it smells so good. Don't be afraid. We're gonna let this to bring up to a nice high simmer. We'll check it in a couple minutes and bring the heat down. And it's gonna slowly render down and thicken, just like that stew we want before we add the last two ingredients. Do you hear that? It's singing. It's singing delicious Canadian chicken, Macanese Portuguese curry style. Oh, I just got a chicken bath. So this is the perfect time that we're gonna add our last couple of ingredients before we take this back to a slow simmer. We're gonna grab our cayenne powder. 
And that's gonna add a little bit of that pepperiness. One of the great secret ingredients of this dish is adding a little bit of fish sauce, which is concentrated anchovy, so it's got a lot of salt component in here. So about, you know, half a teaspoon. That is where we've got it for it now to do its own little beautiful cooking. So what we want to do at this point is we want to turn this down to a medium low, so a simmering, so you see some slight bubbling. Put the lid on, and we're going to be able to walk away for 15, 20 minutes and let this slow simmer until it thickens and gets that depth of flavor, and we're going to be almost ready to plate this up and eat. Chicken's cooked down. It's almost like a nice, slow braise. The potatoes are nice and soft. Then you've got the chunks of all the other seasoning, like the garlic and the onions there. So I think it's time for us to start plating this up. Look at this chicken. I love eating uh, stewed meat with bone in. I think it's that much more fun. You get right into the depth of the flavor. Fresh chopped cilantro. If you want, you can add a little bit of citrus off to the side like that. Chili oil, that is. Just a little bit of garnish there. Back over here, <laughs> this is singing too. We got a really nice fresh naan. But like I said, if you feel for rice, you can do rice as well. But I love to get a piece of naan to just dip this. You've got the beautiful Makanese curry Portuguese style chicken. Oh, maybe I can do naan and rice. But thanks guys. Thanks for being in our kitchen. Thanks for cooking Canadian chicken with me again. And we'll see you the next time.